Okay, we are back after three, four weeks of being away from Civ 5. We're back. Hopefully, I'll say this right off the bat, hopefully this is recording. Because... Let's see, I... Okay. Hopefully this is recording because ever since I got back, I have not been having the best... Uh, the best of luck with recording things. Definitely have not been having that. And that is very unfortunate, but... Yeah, I think... First Call of Duty wouldn't record. Call of Duty, the original one. That one wouldn't record, which... Disappointed me greatly. And then... Yeah... I screwed up recording Tropical 4. Because... Well, pretty much what happened is I started the game up before I started up Fraps, and apparently that means that Fraps wouldn't record Tropical 4 because I started it up after I started the game up. Because when you start up Tropical 4, it goes up and go, it goes into like a windowed login screen. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't take up a full screen or anything. And it was at that screen where I was like, oh yeah, I need to open up Fraps and I'm gonna record, but apparently I should have done that before that login screen popped up. Which... whatever. I made a little video about that, I lost like half an hour of footage and kind of irreplaceable footage. I mean, if I wanted to, I could go back and do that entire level again, but I didn't really want to. And I doubt I could go back to the previous save, because I think it automatically saved at the next, pretty much where I stopped it. I don't think I, I'm pretty sure I couldn't have reverted back a save. Ugh, what do I want? I want a swordsman. Swordsmen are fun. Alright, who needs orders? Who needs orders? Uh, these roadmen need orders. Build me a road. Why? Why not? It's going to be my reply to that. Oh good, these people are running away. They fear my might. It's a very good thing for them to fear. Is my might. Because my might, hopefully, is very mighty. I'm not really sure why I actually know you guys stop. Stop. Yeah, stop. Not really sure why I had them building a road there. Because they don't really need a road there. They just need the road down straight through there. That unit needs orders. Also, uh, this road could work both ways, and that would not be good. Because my invading force gets defeated, and then they could just as easily use this road to shuttle guys up to my civilization before I have time to react. Or, well, not react. Not, reaction time really doesn't have anything to do with it in this game, especially. This is a good game for people with slow reaction times. Luckily, I have fast reaction times, but that's beside the point. Or somewhat fast reaction times. That's beside the point. Alright, yeah, General, keep moving up. But just, you know, if my team gets wiped out and I'm surprised by it, then they could get up here before I have any... for really, I'm able to mount any sizable defense. Before I'm able to erect walls or get some forces to help defend. Why is Mouse going to random places? Why did it just go to like up here? Man, these people have a big civilization. They're all the way down here. Holy crap, that's pretty big. I have no idea where America and where Georgie is gone. Not entirely sure about that. Alright, uh, let's, let's move you up there. Ah, crap. That's not what I wanted to see. Alright. Keep moving down. Run away, little... Are you scouts? You're slingers. Uh, let's move up the cat... Yeah, let's keep the catapults kind of towards the rear. And keep the melee units up front. Go figure. We want melee units at the front. Never would have thought of that. Alright, you... Is there a road there? Yeah, there is a road there. Right, you go down all the way there. And you go there. And wait a turn. Do nothing, yes. And catapult, stay there and do nothing. And you move up. Go Gaius Marius. That's the name of my general. 
Good old Gaius Marius, that Roman dude that did something. Can't remember right off the top of my head what he did, but I know he was a Roman dude. And I know he was famous for doing something. But I can't quite remember what. I'll need to go back and watch my History Channel DVDs on Rome. Those would probably tell me what Gaius Marius did. Or you could Wikipedia it, slash Google it. That would be the quicker thing to do. They'll pay for this in time. That's a fact, Jack. Don't insult my the size of my borders. This this stupid thing on Cuba really needs to build fast. George, oh, gold to George Washington has ended. I thought I said George Washington ended, and that confused me greatly. I don't know where I want to go now. I just run back to the foxes. I guess. Uh, okay. Right, you people. No, not you people. Okay. Uh, okay, they're running. That's good. I do not want you in the water. Actually, I could definitely be using the water to kind of get rid of this roadblock that's going to be right here at, like, Panama. But as of right now, I won't. I think I'd rather have a decent navy with me before I did that. Simply because... Of... The fact that a bandit could come out of the fog over here and sink my ship, and that would not be good. I could lose, like, an entire squad due to a bandit ship. I'm not sure what, like, the size of these men are. If they're, like, squads, or each one is an army, or, like, a battalion, platoon. Not sure how many, like, archers are supposed to be in that archer group. I, mean, I think there's 20 here, maybe? One, two... Three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve? Oh, twelve. Okay. But I'm not sure if that translates to 1,200 archers or 120. Because I highly doubt that it's supposed to literally be 12 people. Then, yeah, it's a barbarian encampment. It's not what I want. Oh, boy. Just keep running deeper into the forest. Okay, you people move up and we shall continue kind of bunny hopping. You know, that was a very poor bunny hop that I did there. And we will continue bunny hopping with the road. Pikemen move up, everybody advance. There we go, caterpillars go. Archie's up and we're good. 15 XP for a swordsman. Rough terrain since that's pretty much... Everything is rough up until, like, this portion here. Right up in, like, Canada and everything. That's all rough terrain. Uh, what do we want? We want a workshop, yes? Sure, why not? Faster production is always a good thing, I would think. And the swordsmen should move out. Very fast travel with the help of the roads there. Okay, what are, oh, that's, okay, they're working on the workshop too. That's good. And I have officially reached zero gold. However, currency is about to be finished, which should definitely boost my gold income once I get some. Once I throw up like a mint and I could throw up Machu Picchu too. Huh. Well, that would, that would get a nice wonder. Unless somebody's already built it. Hopefully not. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't think so, but during the Steam summer sale, winter sale, Christmas Better sale, bread with a happy heart. whatever you want to call it, I, I just keep running and maybe heal there. I grabbed uh, Gods and Kings, the expansion pack for Civ 5 from the, during the, well, I grabbed it during the sale. And, what do I want to research? Compass, no, education, yes. So I have that, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to have an effect on this game. I know when I started it up, like, the startup screen was different and whatnot, because it's, it, it's not like a separate game on Steam, it just pretty much adds on to this one here. I didn't need to install that one too, once I bought it, it downloaded automatically. 
to the Civ 5, it's like, you know, an update kind of deal. Okay, I want the road to go south like that. Uh, let's get people down into like this clearing here. You know, it's not really a clearing, but at least a bunch of units can kind of fit close together. And regroup there. Because really the only point of this expeditionary force is to kill those stupid Incans. I believe it's the Incans. You're the Incans or the Mind. You're the Incans, right? Right. To kill them because they are being a bunch of meanies. And calling me stupid names. And I don't like it. So they're going to die because of it. Eh, hey, making gold. Probably, I don't know if that's because of the researching the whatchamacallit or not. Not entirely sure about that. Drink time. There we go. An enemy is near. The barbarian ship. That's just... Ooh, wait a minute. Look at that barbarian ship. What's that barbarian ship even trying to do? It's gonna get rocks thrown at it, though. Poor barbarian ship. Alright, the army is moving. Uh, you go down that way. My pikemen, however, will go up north and keep kind of pursuing those slingers. Even though I'm not going to attack them yet. They will pursue them, however. Alright. Are these workers done with their part of the row? I think so. So, I'm going to move these guys up to there. And the archers up. And the swordsmen can stay there. But the workers can move up there and work on their road from there. There we go. Uh, swordsmen, I guess you're just staying there. Yes. Choose production. We want a mint... Market. The output of gold. Uh, let's, let's get the market first. Market, I would think, would be a very nice thing for a city to have. And I'm losing gold. I'm losing three gold a turn, which isn't catastrophic, because it'll take, like... I don't know, you're going to try to do that math, but... 50 turns? 500 turns. Three times 500 equals 1500 about 500 some odd turns for me to run out of gold assuming that stays a negative three and I don't spend any gold now it's a negative one so it'll take 1541 turns for me to run out of gold uh pfft. great I don't know okay oh go down there and we shall build a plantation yay rejoice I right, gotta move on get down that hill there's a barbarian encampment down there, and know that. Oh! I... That's a waste of a unit, though. But I could just trap these guys here. Not let them go anywhere. And then when I declare war, just kill them. But, as I just said, that would be a great waste of a unit. It could be better spent doing something else. But as for now, I guess I'll just keep those guys here. I might actually split the road up, so at least... If I do declare war and I do keep those guys there, I can get these guys down faster so it doesn't take them like three turns to get to the road. I might do that. Alright, you guys get to work on your road. Archers up and swordsmen up. Kinda stopped building my army there, didn't I? Oh well. That's that's a decent sized army, I guess. Hopefully. Maybe. Probably not. I don't... Okay, hold on. I, I could check that with, uh... How do I check that? Let's... Let's see. Demographics. Military overview. Thank you. Uh, that's not what I wanted to look at. No. Demographics may... Ah, here we go. Alright. Soldiers. The average is... 38. I have 44. So, assuming they're... Assuming they're average, I have a slightly larger military than them. Which isn't good since I'm attacking. I need a significantly larger military than them. 